What up, tribe? It's your brother Makai. I'm back with another video, as I promised yesterday. First of all, I want to start off by saying Happy Venus Friday. Today is a day of love. Today is a day that we want to focus on self-love and emitting love to others around us. We also want to have an attitude of gratitude. I'm thankful for another Friday to be alive. I'm thankful for my vision. I'm thankful for my sight. I'm thankful for uh, all the material things I have. I'm thankful for my successful businesses. I'm thankful for the consultations I've been receiving. Thank y'all. Um, I am thankful that the sun is shining today. I'm thankful that the moon going to shine tonight. I am thankful for this moment in time that I have to converse with the people. And I'm thankful for having a purpose and operating and being in that purpose. Uh, without further ado, we're going to get to it. Uh, I want to give you guys a little more insight. I know yesterday I just gave you an animal. Yesterday, actually, it was the turtle, which is ironic because this is a turtle island. Um, and this is absolutely from a Aboriginal indigenous standpoint, or you can say Native American, American Indian, whichever way you feel, uh, or whatever terminology floats your boat. Um, I'm not really here about, that's not really the significance. The significance is the connection that you have to these animals as well as I have, and we all have. Um, I'm just doing general pulls too. I'm not doing it as whether it's in reverse. This is just whatever. You know, so I call hey, I call them the ancestors, I call them the great mother spirit, mother nature, all my entities, allies, and ancestors known and unknown, but I call them the great spirit to give this information and this message out to your people today so that they may be edified and that their lives may be amplified and that they may have better insight into situations and circumstances. So I ask that you use me as a vessel and your muse to utilize me to give this information and this message to your people. Ashe. So... Like I said, it's a wonderful, beautiful Friday. Get out, get you some air. Like I said, if you're stressing and you're going through a lot of different things, meditation will absolutely help you. Um, you know, I could suggest some herbs too. We'll get to that a little bit later. But uh, we're going to see what is the card that we have for today. Well, you can't do this, but it's ironic that the turtle comes up again. This is crazy. So we're going to go with it again. That's right. The turtle was yesterday, but the turtle again is today. And just as the message I told you yesterday with the turtle is duality. It's with the water and it's with the earth, but it's also protection. Okay. So spirits telling me they got the turtle yesterday just to see if I was going to be obedient and do the turtle again. So we're going to pull another car for today. And today is the badger. Shout out to my brother, Haseola. It is the badger right here. Oh, I mean, where can I start with the, with the badger? I mean, it's uh, the badger is fearless. I mean, you know, let me go to the reference and get a little more information for you guys uh, in regards to the badger. Yeah. Yeah, the badger. That's crazy. All righty. All right. Bear with me, please. Give me a minute. All right. Yes. So. It says, if the badger was a card for you today, it means you are quick to express your feelings and you do not care what the consequences are. <laughs> badger people oftentimes insist on carrying the ball for the touchdown. This attitude, however, does not endear them to their teammates badger medicine may also point to aggressive healer who will have the courage to use unconventional means to exact to ex to create a cure like the mother who sits for days nursing a child with high fever badger is willing to persist fearlessness right here so it's like Tapping into your energy and and being your authentic self and not being afraid to speak your peace. Uh, this is the energy that I'm getting from the badger is that whoever's watching this, you need to be more courageous. You need to speak your mind. 
um, you don't need to compromise, but you need to speak your truth and not really care about what people around you have to say, because usually the politically correct answer is not the best answer. It's just the politically correct answer. Um, it says if the badger is pushed into your car or came up in your reading today, it may be telling you that you have been too meek in trying to reach some goal. Badger asks you, how long are you willing to sit and wait for the world to deliver you your silver spoon? And that's talking to all of us. So in other words, it's saying take that fearless uh, mentality, take that, that attitude of nothing can stop me, nothing can hold me back, I'm all the way up. Y'all already get it. Like, this is what I preach all the time because the difference between the successful folk and the unsuccessful is fear, procrastination. Um, you got to understand, I heard Rick Ross say this. You only got to win one time. So you could you could lose a bunch of times. Nobody remembers the losers. But when you win the one time, it only takes one win to get you in the game. I mean, that's so powerful. It's so profound. It makes so much sense. So for my people out there today, yo, that badger, that badger, you go all the way hard in the paint. You understand? You need to do what you need to do. This is the time. We just hit the six-month mark. That means we got six months to go. Listen, we want to finish strong. You know, this that that lap, you coming around the bend, it's time to turn up. Because guess what? Everybody else is running out of gas right now. Everybody else is hey, hanging. Oh, six months, it didn't work. Oh, I'm done. No, no. Listen, now you got another six months to try again. You understand? If you want to get technical, we could break it up into quarters, but I'm just going to go with the six month right now where we at. Now, when I talk about these things, uh, there's, there's, there's some information that I need you guys to have an understanding of, and that is everyone has nine power animals. Yes, nine. And nine is in correlation with the directions. So it's in correlation with the medicine wheel with the directions. So it's east, south, West, north, above, below, and within. And each direction uh, deals with a different aspect of your existence. So it would be the nature base of the zodiacs, so to speak. Um, so from the east, the animal in the east guides you to your greatest spiritual challenges and guards your path to illumination. That's the east. <clears throat> The South, the animal in the South protects the child within and reminds you when to be humble and when to trust so that innocence will be balanced in your personality. That's the South. The West, the animal in the West leads you to your personal truth and inner answers. It also shows you the path to your goals. Yes, it shows you the path to your goals. That's the West. The North, the North animal gives wise counsel and reminds you when to speak and when to listen. It also reminds you to be grateful for every blessing every day. Above. The above animal teaches you how to honor the great star nation and reminds you that you came from the stars and the stars you will return. This animal is also the guardian of the dream time for your personal access to other dimensions. Below. The below animal teaches you about the inner earth and how to stay grounded on the path. Within, the within animal teaches you how to find your heart's joy and how to be faithful to your personal truths. It is also the protector of your sacred space, the place that is the place that is yours alone and is never shared except by invitation. And then on the right side of you, this animal protects your male side and teaches you that no matter where you turn, it will be your father protected within. This animal also carries your courage and warrior spirit. So this animal rides with you on the right in spirit. The left side, this animal is a protector of your female side and teaches you that you must learn to receive abundance as well as to nurture yourself and others. The left side animal is also your teacher about relationships and mothering. So I know I said it was nine, but those are the, the two animals that's been with you from birth because i mean we are all uh, uh connected you know if you go to the concept of cosmology i mean we all you know seven seven degrees of separation i mean it's just so many aspects to look at this from 
But those nine directions, the reason that we start in the east is because this is where the sun rises. So this will be the opening door, the opening gate for you, as in the different directions you have. So I hope that this gave you a little more insight. And I want you also to remember, uh, from a medicine wheel perspective, all nations and all tribes don't use it the same way. The directions may be different. You know, it might not be east. It might be west. It just varies on whatever that oral tradition of that group of people, uh, you know, subscribe to or or kept, you know, within their lineage or within their uh, tribe or community, so to speak. So these different animals represent different aspects. And I'm just doing general pulls. But if I did a specific reading for you, like I would pull a car for the East because remember the different directions denote different aspects of your life. And, you know, just stay tuned. Keep it locked in my channel. I'm going to go in more and more. I can't give you all everything at one time because there's a plethora of information. Um, I mean, it is a lot of animals and the, and the animals that I'm using are all North America. Um, and I'm sure you can use other animals from different places. I'm sure, you know, and I've done it. If you go to my IG at Makai Kondo, you'll see I've done the cheetah, the lion. These are things that are coming out of Africa and different countries. So, but listen, today it was that badger. Uh, we don't want to lose sight of that. We want to have a aggressive mind. We have to have an aggressive attitude and understand that obstacles are going to come and that you better be prepared for these obstacles. You know, it's funny, it's a saying I say, obstacles are the things that you see when you take your eyes off the goal. You know, if if if, if this is the destination and I need to go here, I'm going to do everything in my power and my will to go here. The number one thing is for us to never stop, to never stop, to never stop expanding, continue to expand your mind. Um, like I said, we got to come back to nature and we got to understand our connection with these animals. Um, you know, hey. Just as I promised you, today is that Venus Friday. Shout out to Venus. Shout out to Oshun. Shout out to the ancestors known and unknown. Shout out to my spiritual father, Papa Legba. Shout out to my spiritual mother, Venus. You know, I can't wait to she come out of retrograde. I can't wait. But, hey, I want y'all to enjoy your day. Tell somebody you love them. Look in the mirror and say, hey, yo, I love you, Maka. I love you, Maka. Tell yourself you love yourself. Hey, listen, enjoy this Friday. It's been a pleasure being of service to y'all. And I look forward to seeing y'all back for the next video. Peace.